What's going on? It's Bobby K, professional landscape designer. This channel is dedicated to those DIYers, landscape lovers, those interested in landscape design. If you got a landscape problem, I got the solution for you. We're just coming off Thanksgiving, lots to be thankful for. Fantastic news, we just found out we're gonna have number two. Boy, girl, doesn't matter to me as long as it's healthy. I am super pumped and blessed and thankful. So I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving. Now let's get into the topic of the day. In this video, we are going to address how to landscape a backyard, but we're gonna show a couple different things because there's a pool and there's a little bit of a grade. So we got some different elevations to work with and fun ways to spice it up. We're gonna jump right into the design, then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna give you out some pro tips that are gonna save you time and money. And then I want you to stay to the end of the video. I've got a mystery design that I'm gonna give you access to by joining the BK crew. So without further ado, let's go see this design. So there's the design for you. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna jump right into this bad boy, give you out a bunch of pro tips. My pro tips are gonna consist of some for time, some for the design, and then some for saving you some money. And then I'm gonna go over the overall cost of what this would be, as well as putting everything that you see down in the description so you know what all these plants are and what you can do. If you really, really like this and wanna put this in your backyard, you got it. First pro tip is time. What I want you to pay attention to is the structure going on right here. This one in particular, believe it or not, comes from like Costco or Lowe's or Home Depot. You can get something like this for like 1200 to 1500 bucks and they're really nice. Obviously, this is not one of those big cedar tone wood structures that you see all over Pinterest, Google, that are gonna set you back anywhere between 25 to 40K, depending on the size and, and the bells and whistles, ceiling fans, lighting, all that stuff that you do. What I want you to pay attention to as far as the pro tip is the time it takes to build one of these, as well as the permit process. The permit process is really important. If you hire a contractor or you're looking to do it yourself, make sure you get ahead of the game. Know your municipality, know what kind of hoops they're gonna make you jump through to pull the permits. Some places are easier than others. Other places, it seems like you file for the permit and it sits on the desk and marinates there for a while until they feel like they wanna help you out. So be ready for that part and focus on other parts of the project while the permit process is going through. All right, let's jump into the design. What I want you to look at is all these perennials that we put in here. We have butterfly bushes here and over here. We've got a backdrop of some grasses and then some more butterfly bushes. The reason I love this is because it's a one-time thing. They're all perennials. They'll come back. It presents that beautiful color that goes well around a pool. And I think that it's just something that adds a lot of pop to this place. Second thing I want you to look at is this is, believe it or not, a hillside and the stairs might be a dead giveaway there. But what you need to know is if you wanna do a big patio, you're gonna to have to put a wall in here or some way to retain it to hold this patio in. Or you can cut the patio in and then decide to do a second patio. The reason I love to, to do it this way, to have this design this way is because if it's a nice night, you don't wanna sit under the structure. You come on down here, you got the fire blazing. It's like a more intimate off the grid spot that you can sit and then you got the water going on right here. Fire and water, always a good combo. Finally, we got those pro tips that have to do with money. We gotta find a way to save money. When you got something this big, obviously this is gonna cost a pretty penny. If you're doing it yourself, you're gonna save a lot on that labor, but if you want a professional to come in, which I highly recommend on something like this, it's not as easy as it looks, 
then you want to find ways that you can save money with your contractor. Plants. Plants is a huge way to do it. This is a very consolidated, we got a lot of plants going on here. You don't have to plant this way, you can have it more spaced out. And I'm gonna put together a mystery design for you that you can have access to at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how you can go and look at that. That shows a more spaced out landscape that'll help you save money on plants. Anywhere between, I'd say 1,500 to 3,000 bucks just in plants. The second money tip that I want you to look at are the bells and whistles of this bad boy. Like I said, you don't have to do a big structure. You can do something like this from Costco, 1500 bucks. But look at the trellises going on back here. Look at the arbor that's right here. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, trellis, arbor, vice versa, my bad. But this is something that just kind of adds to the design. It's not a necessity. I like it because it's something that you can put climbing, you know, hydrangeas or clematis along. Same over here. It's just more greeny, more ways to space it out, create privacy. It's not a necessity. The second money tip has to do with the fire pit. So the fire pit is a veneer. Veneer stone costs more money than a kit. You can get a kit anywhere between, I'd say, $400 to $800, depending on what you want, as well as this wall. You can make that out of retaining wall blocks versus doing the cinder blocks and then slapping the veneer stone on it. Veneer is going to up it. It's going to make it look more beautiful, but it's not a necessity. You'll probably save anywhere between $1,500 to $2,500 just on this by going to kits and retaining wall blocks. Overall cost of this bad boy, how much is something like this gonna cost if you decide to put it in your backyard? If you hire a contractor, a company like mine, we're gonna charge anywhere between 30 to 35K, I think is realistic. The size of the patio, the square footage, all the bells and whistles, there's a lot going on here. If you did it yourself, you could probably shave off about 15K and put something like this in your backyard, anywhere between say 18 and $20,000. Maybe a little cheaper, it just depends on where you go with it. All the plants, everything in here, I'm gonna put in the description. Let's get to that mystery design. This is super easy. All you gotta do is send me an email. In the title, put mystery design, and you're gonna get a ton of really, really good content. I'm gonna give you the mystery design, all the plants and everything that goes into it. I'm gonna tell you how much it costs, and then any questions that you have about the design we just went over or the mystery design, I'm gonna personally answer them for you. It's a lot of value. I know what I'm talking about. I'm happy to help you. All you gotta do is send an email. Pretty easy. If you haven't joined the BK crew, click subscribe, hit the alarm bell, and please throw a comment down there. Question the day is, have you ever hired a contractor and hired a contractor that didn't pull the permits and did you have a bad experience from it? If you have, I'd love to hear it. That sounds really interesting. Throw that down in the comments below and I'm going to see you guys on the next one.